Hi folks, Chuck here with Hillbilly Half Acre Homestead. We've got a rabbit cage hung on the wall here. And we've got a litter of rabbits that we're ready to wean, and we're going to show you how we do that. So stick around. for my mini rex. If you've been paying attention on uh, our Facebook uh, fan page and on our website blog, you'll know that we have quite a few young rabbits. Uh, Twix's recent litter, remember there was a solid black, a solid chocolate, and six Himalayans. What we have left is we have five Himalayans, we have the little chocolate, and uh, this little lady right here. Remember Sesame Street? <laughs> which, one, which of these things just don't belong here? Well, it's her. This is the bunny to be named later. This is Pearl and Pepper. This is a doe from their recent litter. Remember I showed you those these guys in the nest box, but I don't think I've given you much of an update since then. But she's being winged. She was the only doe in the litter, and she is, as is usually the case with Pepper and Pearl's babies, does especially, they're spoke for. So the person that has spoken for a doe out of Pepper and Pearl is going to come take a look at her tomorrow and hopefully if all goes well she's going to be going to her forever home but this is a two foot by two foot cage folks these guys are getting too big so i'm going to move them all together into a bigger cage now we have bucks and does here these guys are only eight weeks old so there's no danger of any breeding at this time so i'm going to move them into a bigger cage and i'm going to give them it's going to give me time to get more cages built and hung because i will eventually need to separate bucks and does here or hopefully you know in an ideal world you know somebody will come along and decide that they just got to have one of these beautiful little guys and gals and take them home that would be okay too because they are eight weeks old and we need ready to go so you know my channel is not for the purpose of advertising but i don't have a problem letting you guys know if anybody's in the area i don't ship bunnies but if any of you are within a reasonable driving distance and would like to have one of these beautiful little guys and gals there is two two himalayan bucks and or i'm sorry two himalayan does three bucks the little chocolate is a doe she's also available two two out of that litter have been sold and they've already gone to their forever home over the weekend and the rest of these guys none of these guys are on hold but uh you can contact us through YouTube, through our Facebook, through our website. We have a contact page on there where you can send us a, I don't think we have a phone number. I didn't want to post a phone number pub, pub, publicly. We need to get on with the show here. The idea is I need this brood cage with this nest box on it. I need this ready. I've got one, two, three, four does. Four does expecting litters. Salt over here in a cage behind us. She's a Netherland dwarf. She is expecting a litter with pepper. And I believe all of these are going to kindle by the middle of October. So something has to happen. Now glow stick down there on the end. She is not bred. What's going to happen? I was going to. I, I really was going to wait and see if she was going to put on a little bit more weight. She's almost five months old, which in many wrecks that's acceptable. So glow stick is not bred. In fact, I need to take her in and check her and weigh her if she's. If she's still gaining weight, then I'm, I think I'll probably hold off a little longer. If she is still pretty much in weight where she was when I last weighed her, then I will assume that she has reached her max weight, and I will go ahead and put her into a rotation with these other young ladies. If I haven't told you before, Iris here behind me. Iris likes a nest box. She hangs out in a nest box quite a bit. I think, she, I think she thinks that's her sanctuary until I reach in there and bug her. Iris, first time mom. Hershey, she's due in two days from this video date. Two days, and which will be Friday. This is being filmed on Wednesday after Friday, um, September 30th. She's, she is due. And if you can see, Dana, get up there and give them a shot of her <laughs> laying there like she is. Try to, try to sneak up on her now. See that belly? Oh, uh, Hershey's back there taking it easy. See that belly? She is definitely, definitely got some babies in there. We are looking forward to meeting them. Anyway, uh, Upsy Daisy down here in the corner, or as we just call her, we call her Daisy. Uh, she is hiding in the corner down there. She's also going to be a first time mom. She is due on the 11th of October. Salt, 
two is due on the 11th of October, which is good because if Salt were to have a small litter and Daisy was to run into problems being a first time mom, we could foster kits to Salt because one thing I, Salt, Salt's a little gal, you know, she's a Netherland dwarf, but one thing I can tell you about Salt is she'll take care of anything. She's a good mama. I can pretty much, you know, they need to be fairly close in weight and size and what have you, but I can pretty much give her anything. So I'm just gonna try to turn this. She has it up like this. I'm gonna try to get a shot up. Yep, look at that belly. Oh. Look at that sagging belly. Now, Hershey, you've never even used one of those. You don't know what that's for. They like to get up there and throw things off the top. Every time we come out here, we're picking stuff up off the floor. This is an old dog food bowl. Folks, look, in an, in an, in an emergency, this will work. You can put water in it and it's hard for them to flip it over and turn it and turn it over. You know, this is a side note here. Uh, I, I get off topic so so quick and so easy that most of what I say is a side note, I guess. But you can put these in here. They take up a lot of room. But you put those in there with food, and the bunnies are going to jump up in there, and they're going to poop in it, and they're going <laughs> to pee in it. They know what it's for. Anyway, part of the time, I think, too, but you can put water in these. I, I don't recommend using them for feet. You can put water in but bear in mind, Baby bunnies like to jump in these when it's hot and use them for swimming pools. Hershey, would you quit? <laughs> you got food in there. Here, here, come here and eat your food. Look, right here. Uh, getting back, getting back to the task at hand. After all the side notes and what have you, we're gonna wean these guys, and, and or actually they're weaned. I'm sorry. We're gonna move these guys so I can have my brood cage back. Because if you did all the counting, you would think, well, that's plenty of cages, right? Pearls over here. She's getting ready to wean a litter and she's going to be getting bred. Salt is bred. She doesn't have a nest box right now. She needs to have a cage with a nest box. Okay, so I also have a couple of nest boxes built and I'm going to put them on these cages behind us. But the way it's working out is all my small rabbits, mini rex and the Netherlands dwarf, all those does, I'm going to need all these cages with nest boxes. So we're moving these big guys and gals, we're moving them out today. We do have one in the house that could be pregnant too. Serenity. And I've got two more that need to be. So if I've got all these cages with nest boxes, I could have everybody. I've got two does, two mini rex does that I haven't shown you yet that are, well one of them's proven. Well I've got three that I haven't shown but two, two that are not bred. Two that I'm holding off breeding because I didn't want to end up having more does than I had brood cages for. Okay, these nest boxes are not on every cage. I've got three cages inside this building. Here, all six of these have a nest box. The ones behind us over, behind the camera over here, they don't have nest boxes. We're gonna remedy that. So when I do that, I've got two nest boxes built. I have the means, I think I'm almost out of J-clip, so I was gonna, I just built two nest boxes and I'm gonna put two on over there because I didn't, I don't have the means to buy more J-clips until, you know, probably the first weekend of next month or something like that. That'd be next week sometime. Anyway, I want to make sure that I had enough J-clips left in the bag that I could put the, the two nest boxes that I had built onto the cage. And then I'll have, instead of six, I'll have six, seven, eight, and then I've got the means to buy, to build more. But here's the deal. The outside cages out here on the wall, the more I think about it, I don't like the idea of having bunnies out there having babies because it's open. Even if I put a top on it, rain and wind can blow in and, and what have you. And I just think what I need to do is probably keep this out here for grow outs and for bucks. Problem is, I've got does that need to be, I've got Squirrely Girl and Calypso over there who are five and six months old respectively who have never had a litter. Um, I, need to get, I need to start getting litters out of those. But first they have to be separated into their own cage and they'll have to have one with a nest box. So it just, it just takes time and more importantly it takes money which is I've got. I've usually got plenty of time. I just usually don't have money. So uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure you guys can always. Uh, I'm sure most of you can relate to that very easily. So we do what we can when we can. And but if you've been watching our videos, you'll know we've made progress over the past year, two years. I, I think it was 2014, early 2015, when we started our YouTube channel. And if you've watched, you know, the videos, you'll know that our rabbitry has changed a lot, and we are making progress. Unfortunately, it is just slow. So enough of that stuff. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna grab these guys just a couple at a time. Whoops, come here lady, come here ladybug. It is official. <laughs> All of these youngsters, they are tattooed. Look at there. Can you see that tattoo? Or is my finger in the way? You can see it. Did it focus? Yeah. 
They're all tattooed, but uh, you'll see they're still getting their color in. Hemp blends, they will probably be three to four months old I think, before they get their color in fully. I'm not real sure what color this is going to be. Honestly, I think they're going to be a black. I'm going to grab a couple of these, and I'm going to take them over, and I'm going to meet you over at the cage where we're going to take them. Okay, the last time we were out here, we just had two cages out here. We had Zoe over there. Now, Sangria is still over here. She's enjoying that nest box. Now, this is what you got to watch out for. You don't want them to get too comfortable in the nest box because they'll sit in there. They'll use it as a toilet. That's why we don't keep nesting material in there to encourage them to get in there and sit and what have you. Give them hay, we put it up on the floor. That way, if it gets in there, they have to put it in there. You'll see this is a lot bigger cage. The one that they were in was a 2x2. Two two. This is a 3x2. So, it's quite a bit more floor space. Give them a little room to spread out. But uh, And it's still going to be a little crowded for this number of rabbit but it's better and not to mention it's in a short amount of time uh, probably a week I'm gonna be dividing the bucks and the does and they're gonna be separated so there will only be like three rabbits in each cage and that'll give them room to grow a little bigger so this is what I'm gonna do I've got a, the J feeder that you saw them throwing around I'm gonna put that right here somewhere on this cage um, I've got to get a bucket prepared if you've seen my water automatic watering system video i've got to get a bucket repair uh, prepared and put the little uh, spigot on there where i can connect my hose to it then i'm going to make a little shelf and i'm going to put it right up here okay and i'm going to connect that and i'm going to connect up this is some old nasty hose i found i had left it on top of a rabbit cage and the leaves and what have you some stuff had blown down on it so it looks nasty but i think it's clean on the inside and it can be cleaned up but problem is it's not enough so the same deal with the j clips and what have you next week i'm hoping to be able to get some we're gonna try to keep the wind noise out of the video. Anyway, that, uh, so I'm gonna put a bucket up here, and then I'm gonna run a hose down here to Zoe's cage, and then I'm gonna run, put a, run a deal down here, and if I can do it, I'm gonna get a hose, and I'm also gonna connect up uh, around here on the side of the building. Around here on the side of the building, you know, we have Rosie and Mustang Sally and their big cages over here. Uh, they're, still, they're still drinking out of big, like, half gallon, well, it's a Folgers coffee can. It's what coffee grounds come in, you know. So I want to get rid of that and I want to run the hose from the bucket that's going to be right here above this doorway and, and it's still going to be low enough we just reach up there and fill it up with a hose, you know, no problem. I'm going to run the hose around there and connect up Rosie and Mustang South. So out of a five gallon bucket, I've been over here feet or watering six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 rabbits out of that one five gallon bucket and except in the hottest part of the summer we never had to fill it up more than once a day. How many times, in the, like in July, Dana, how many times would you have to fill up that bucket a day? Three or four times, Three or four times. Like. But normally, like now, you know, we got fall weather, what are we, in the 70s and early and, uh, and, and lower 80s, probably, you say, do you ever fill it up now more than once a day? Mm -hmm. No, so, so one bucket. So if we put a five gallon bucket up here, like I'm talking about above the door, and uh, it should be good because keep in mind while we're only going to be feeding six cages we're going to be eventually this is going to have a nest box and there's going to be a brood doe right here a new zealand brood doe okay one thing about new zealand's is if you haven't noticed they're a lot bigger so they drink more water they're going to have babies in here with them they're going to drink a lot of water so even though i've been watering that many sections over there i'm only going to have these six on this one bucket uh and and reason being is because there's going to be a lot of babies and a lot and a, and a lot bigger mamas that are going to be drinking off this system so we're not going to we're just not going to push the issue there we're just going to we're just going to water these six because you know anything about new zealand they can have some pretty good sized litters but even a small litter when they start getting up around the age of these guys right here they drink a lot of water so we want to be able to keep those buckets full the plan is you know occasionally we might have to fill it up a second time but the plan is anytime i set up these bucket systems I want to put just enough cages on them that for the most part they only need to be filled up once in the morning and then they're good that way even if we have to come back in the evening and do a check a food and water check rarely will it ever need filled up again unless you develop a drip and you do have to watch out for that because sometimes you'll get a nozzle they'll they'll develop a drip uh if you get your if you get this hose too close to the cage sometimes the rabbits can grab a hold of that and dip a hole in it through the cage so anyway this is what we're going to do there's not really a whole lot to putting on a j feeder and what have you but i will get the rest of these bunnies moved over here and then i'm going to get my wire cutters and i'll show you how i cut out a little hole and, and install a j feeder on the front of this cage one thing i like about these is i can put one of the bigger seven inch j feeders 
on either side of the door. And on the other side of the door, I still have room. I can put a hay rack up there. I can put a hay rack up there, and I still have, I'll still have a place on one side or other of the door to put my water nozzle. Now, if I plan on using it very much, watering system like I have and you're using it for grow out provide one water nipple per three grow out bunnies if I have nine or say it well I'm gonna have six actually I'm gonna have seven bunnies in here um, ideally or actually this should or I would prefer this to have at least a couple of water nozzles on it now I'm just gonna put one on it because a they're not gonna be in here that long Two, it's cool weather, and even though there's a lot of bunnies in here, I don't see them fighting to get to the water. These water nozzles are not like the little water bottles that where they got to where a rabbit's got to sit at it almost constantly all day long and keep licking the little ball at the end of it to finally get enough water. They bite down on these little on the little stingers in the middle of these water water nozzles, and with the gravity feed pressure that comes out of these buckets, it'll fill their mouth. They'll get a good drink, so it doesn't take that long. We're gonna cut the camera off, and I'm gonna go get uh, I'm gonna go get my wire cutters and my J feeder over here to get the rest of these guys in the cage. So we'll go we'll cut the camera off, and we'll get back to you in just a few minutes.